Hi, what's up guys? My name is George Power Finch uh, from Big Air Media and today I'm going to give you some tips on how to make your footage look better and more cinematic. Um, yeah, just give it a much better feel and look to it. So, first of all, um, you want to have a decent to good camera. Um, I'm, I'm using a 550D uh, or the Rebel T2i with um, a bunch of lenses uh, but most of the lenses in this one were used with a 50mm f1.8 um, which is really good for getting nice depth of field shots so here as you can see we have a shot of um, a car door and the character walking out and you can see already because it's on, on a 1.8 um, f-stop it's got a really nice depth of field but I think it could be improved a bit more so first what you want to do is you want to get some bars these can be made in Photoshop really easily and uh, there's loads and loads of ones you can download in mine. What it does is, when you put it in, it just makes it more cinematic. Obviously this is, these bars are way too um, low so we just want to make them higher. I think that looks pretty good. So already, you know, we've got the bars going, it gives it a nice widescreen look. Um, and that's literally just a simple effect you can make in Photoshop or like I said, just download online. Uh, secondly, you want to get magic bullet looks. Now this is amazing for colour grading. Not only does it give you loads and loads of um, presets that they've made, but you can also download thousands of presets that other people have made because you can all customise them and save it as that. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go on edit look. Now we have our clip here. Um, you know, like I said, it's got a nice depth of field around here. You can see the blueness here. And you can see the focus on the door handle only, um, and the you know the backgrounds out of focus as well. But I think it could be more blurry. I think it could get a nice, uh, even better depth of feel going. So we just want to apply a spot focus. Uh, I think it's just called a warm spot focus. Um, now you can see already it applies you know, a blur around the outside. Yeah, you can have it as that. Um, you know, which is really good. So what we just want to do is we just want to make um, the radius a lot smaller. Uh, maybe turn the spread up a bit. Um, but yeah, just want to make the radius smaller just so we can uh, have it more focused on the door handle than anything else. Um, I'm going to make the blur size a little bit more, maybe on a, about 2%. And as you can see, when I click finish, the before and after, yeah, it's also made it, it's right then made a really, really nice difference, um, which gives it you know a bit more of a cinematic look. Um, next of all, I'm going to apply um, another look, and this time we're just going to make it a bit more cinematic looking. Um, when you click, when you add the second um, look to it, it won't show you the first one. It will just go back to the original footage. So you might have to play around with it a bit. But the presets in this, there's so many of them. You know, you've got um, you've got Sean Wright's Fincher, which is a custom one that I've downloaded, which makes it, you know, gives it like a really dark and grungy look. You've got Blockbuster, which gives it a very serious look. Um, you've also got an indie look, a flat look. The flat look's actually really good because then you can apply your own kind of effects in Premiere. Um, so yeah, I quite like this one. Uh, yeah, there's so many you can mess around with. There's an ultimatum here, which gives you like a like a lens flare to it. There's quite a few of them. Um, but for now, if I can find it, I'm just gonna go for uh, maybe Sean Wright's Fincher. Yeah. That looks pretty good. That gives it like social network kind of grading. If you've seen that film, um, almost like a green tint to it. But I'm actually gonna go for if I can find it, cinematic. Cinematic just adds a bit more contrast and a bit more um, a bit of darkness to it. it brings out the blacks a bit more. Um, when you apply that, you can really see the difference already. Now, I think for this kind of footage here, it's still way too colourful. So what you can do is you can just go and edit look again for the spot focus. And uh, oh god, where's it gone? Yeah, and then you can literally just play around with the curves. Let's get make it. You can just make it. It takes them quite a while to get used to it, but you can literally just play around with all the curves on it and make it a bit darker. But overall, I think that looks really cool. Um, so that's what Magic Bullet is about. Um, again, we can do a try with another clip here. I quite like this one in the mirror. And again, what we can do is we can just go into Effects, Looks. And we can go and edit look. Here's our original footage. Um, again, I'm probably just going to apply one of these uh, warm spot focuses. 
because I'm, I'm really not them at the moment. Um, and then we can lower the radius down a lot more. Put the aspect up. Yeah. So now it's only going to be focused on the uh, rear view mirror kind of thing. That looks pretty good. And then we just want to blow it up a bit more. And as you can see already, it's giving it a much better depth of field to it. It makes it look really, really good. Um, and of course, like you know, like I said before, we can apply cinematic effects on it, but I can't really go through all of them because there, there is so many. There's so many you can choose from, um, which are really good. Now, for people that don't have Magic Bullet, um, you can easily create really cinematic effects in Premiere alone. Um, I'm still going to use the bars, but what I'm, what I'm going to do is I've got the brightness and uh, contrast. I'm going to apply that. And I'm just going to put the contrast up a bit, just to bring out the blacks, make it look a bit deeper. Maybe I'll put the brightness up a bit as well, just to help it out. So yeah, so contrast 19, brightness 11, I think that's pretty good. And the thing that really makes it good is applying the tint. Now, when you first see this, you're going to think, what the hell are you doing? So it's in a car park, so I think I'm going to go over, you know, maybe like a... Maybe like a dark blue tint, let's see if that works out. And we're going to do it for both of them. Uh, it'll be roughly the same, doesn't really matter. So now it's just blue. But what we can do is you want to go on the amount of tint, you bring it down to, and then you just want to go up a tiny bit more to bring out some colour. Now you can see already that's on 17. If I go back to zero, you can see the difference in colour. But I quite like 17. That's quite a lot, but it makes it look like it's you know underground in a car park, very you know deep and dark. Um, so I quite like that one. That gives it a really nice cinematic look. And don't forget what I've said is there's no looks on this. This is all just effects in Premiere. If I get rid of the tint and brightness and contrast, bring it straight back to its original. But I quite like that um, nice bluish tint to it. But you can also do it with other colours as well. You can make it look nice and warm. Uh, I go for an orange tint, which is what one of my um, friends taught me. It's just go for a nice orange tint. As you can see there, it brings out like a nice um, retro look to it. And like a warm feel. And that's about it. So, what I've just got to recap what I've gone through. Um, it's really best to get magic bullet looks because it can really help you out a lot when it comes to color grading. Um, again, Premiere has amazing effects. You know, really simple, cheat effects almost to um, get cinematic footage. But there's so many you can do if you just go on the video effects. Uh, you know, you've got, you've got color correction thrown on here. But yeah, the brightness and contrast and tint is a really effective way to get cinematic footage. Um, and of course, download the bars as well. So that's about it for today, guys. I really hope this helped you out, and um, I'll be doing some more tutorials soon. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section, and uh, have a good day. Thank you.